This is the tutorial on parabolas as conic sections. When we create a parabola as a conic section, it comes from when we take our plane and we intersect the double cone where the plane is parallel to one of the edges of the cone. When that happens, the conic section that we get is that of a parabola. Now, if we say that the vertex of our parabola is at the origin of an x and y axis, then we can write the equation of every parabola that has the same vertex in standard form. And this standard form is written as x squared is equal to 4py or y squared is equal to 4px, depending on which direction your parabola will open. Now some textbooks also use the standard form of y is equal to 1 over 4c times x squared or x is equal to 1 over 4c times y squared. Now if you imagine that p is equal to c, then you may notice that if I divide both sides of these equations by 4p, that these two become the exact same equation. Now some textbooks still, they have a different standard form of their equation. They'll say that a parabola is y is equal to ax squared or x is equal to ay squared. But then it should note that a is just equal to 1 over 4c. Now here we have some examples of parabolic equations. y is equal to 1 16th x squared or x is equal to 4y squared x squared is equal to 8y or y squared is equal to negative 4x. What's important to notice in all these equations is we can tell that these will form a parabola because either the x or the y is squared, but in each equation only one of the two variables x and y is squared. If x is squared then y is not. If y is squared then x is not. So that's an easy way to recognize the equation of a parabola. Now if I create a parabolic conic section by intercepting a plane with a double cone and I looked on that plane straight or perpendicular to that plane, then I would see my parabola and I could imagine a coordinate axis on it with the origin at the vertex of that parabola. Then if I were to pick up this parabola and this coordinate axis and draw it, it would look something like this. I could call this my y-axis and this my x-axis and then my parabola would be drawn here in blue. Now every parabola has both a focus and a directrix. A focus is a point and it's always inside our parabola and our directrix is a line and it's always outside of our parabola. Now, every parabola has an axis of symmetry. This axis of symmetry will pass through both our vertex and our focus. This axis of symmetry is also perpendicular to our directrix. What makes the focus and the directrix important is that every point on this parabola is the same perpendicular distance from its directrix as it is from the focus. This distance that I'll call A is the same distance here. This distance that I'm going to call B is the same distance perpendicular from our directrix. This is also B. And this stands for every point on the parabola. Another thing that we need to know about parabolas is which direction they're going to open. If x is squared, then our parabola is going to open in either the positive y direction or the negative y direction. If y is the variable that's being squared, say we had y squared is equal to 4px, then our parabola is going to open in either the positive x direction or the negative x direction. Now how do we determine whether it's going to be in the positive or negative direction? Well, we can look at our a, p, or c term. Again, depending 
on which standard form your textbook uses. If your A, P, or C term is positive, greater than zero, then your parabola will open in the positive direction, whether that be Y or X. If your A, P, or C term is negative, less than zero, then your parabola will open in the negative direction, again, whether that be Y or X. So now let's talk about what these P and these C and these A terms mean. Well, if you have Y is equal to AX squared, then you know that A is equal to one over four C. And we discussed earlier that P is equal to C. Well, P and C are important because P or C is the distance from our focus to our vertex. Now remember, both our vertex and our focus is on the axis of symmetry. So if we go from our vertex to our focus along the axis of symmetry, we'll find that this is P distance away. Or if you're using the other standard form, it's C distance away. Now remember, every point on this parabola, including the vertex, is the same distance from the focus as it is perpendicular from the directrix. So if the distance between our vertex and our focus is P or C, then the distance between our vertex and our directrix is also P or C, depending on which standard form of the equation you use. This distance between our vertex and our focus, or our vertex and our directrix, controls the amount of curvature that our parabola has. So now let's use what we found out about the focus and the directrix to find the focus and the directrix of this parabolic equation. And then we'll graph this conic section. Now we have y is equal to 1 8 x squared. So I'm going to write this in standard form. And depending on which standard form you use, if you use y is equal to 1 over 4 c times x squared, then this is already in standard form. If you use the other standard equation, x squared is equal to 4py, then you need to multiply both sides of this equation by 8 to get it into standard form. Now since our first example here is already in standard form, y is equal to 1 eighth x squared, that would mean that 1 over 4c is equal to 1 eighth. And that means c is equal to 2. If you use the other standard form, x squared is equal to 4py, and I multiplied our original equation by 8 on both sides, we would get x squared is equal to 8y. And that would mean 4p is equal to 8. And if we did that math, we'd find out that p is equal to 2. So we know the distance between our vertex and our focus and our vertex and our directrix. Now to find the actual location of both of these, we're going to need to draw our conic section. Looking at our original equation, it is x that is squared, so that means that this is going to open in either the positive y direction or the negative y direction. Going back and looking at our C term, or our P term, whichever one you use, these are both positive. So that means we're going to open in the positive Y direction. So our parabola will be shaped like this. Now this is the standard form of a parabola with its vertex at the origin. So we know our vertex is at the origin. Or the point zero, zero. Now since our parabola opens upward, that means the y-axis is going to be our axis of symmetry. And our focus is the distance of 2 away from our vertex along the axis of symmetry. And we also know that the focus is always inside the parabola. So that means it's going to be above our vertex. So our focus is going to be at the point 0, 2. Our directrix is a line that's perpendicular 
to our axis of symmetry and it's also two distance away from our vertex. So if our focus is up, then our directrix is down. And our directrix is the line y is equal to negative two. And I can draw that in. So now that I've found my focus and my directrix, all I have left to do is sketch this conic. We would need a couple points. If I plug in positive four for x, I'll have y is equal to one eighth times four squared. Four squared is 16 and multiply that by one eighth and we'll get y is equal to two. So we have the point four two. And again, if we're symmetrical across our axis of symmetry, then we also have the point negative four two. And if we connect these three points with a smooth curve, our parabola should look something like that. So now that we know how to find our focus and our directrix, we've completed the tutorials on parabolas as a conic section.